vaccines that I consider core vaccines would be West Nile, Eastern and Western encephalomyelitis, rabies, and tetanus. Depending on the region of where you're located, there are certain endemic diseases that might be warranted for different vaccines. For example, Kentucky is endemic for botulism. So I consider that one of my core vaccines in Kentucky, but not necessarily would that be the case in California. The most common reaction you see with vaccines is swelling at the injection site. This can turn into what uh, we would call an abscess and they'll get a fluid pocket there. If you notice any heat, swelling, or pain at the site, injection site, consult your veterinarian. The second possible reaction, which is very, very rare, would be an anaphylactic reaction or what we call purpura hemorrhagica. This is where a horse has a total body reaction to the vaccine. They will swell in their legs, they will have minor petechia or hemorrhages in their uh, gums and they will become depressed and run a fever. If this were to occur, contact your veterinarian immediately. Step one to minimize adverse reactions is to make sure you have a clean injection site. Step two would be to make sure you have what I refer to as a clean stick so that you do not, you're pulling back on the plunger to make sure you're not in a vein or artery at the location. If you know your horse has a uh, history of mild reactions, consider breaking up the vaccines over a period of a few weeks, uh, or if the veterinarian deems it necessary, use a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory at the time of injection. If you have a horse that has had a reaction in the past, consult with your veterinarian and see if the risk of the disease versus the adverse reaction is warranted and whether he thinks he or she thinks that uh, the vaccine is necessary. With a horse that has no vaccine history, I would treat this horse as if it had never been vaccinated previously and go ahead with the primary and the booster vaccinations. You can do these at different times and stagger it over a few weeks just to make sure you don't have any kind of reactions, uh, but I would still, I think the disease processes outweigh the fact whether they have or have not been vaccinated.